I'm Camille Strawn. I live in New Orleans and practice law here. I grew up on a ranch in Florida and came to Tulane Law School. Duncan grew up in the Garden District in a house that his maternal grandparents had purchased in 1935 when the Garden District itself was a distressed area. Duncan and I had looked citywide, but we couldn't find a house that we both liked and could afford. Finally, we came back to the Lower Garden District the Lower Garden District had a great variety of historic and non-historic structures. We really had no vision until the bridge scare came along. The State Highway Department had determined that there needed to be a second crossing of the Mississippi River. They were going to tear up Felicity Street, which is the last cobblestone street in New Orleans. We formed the Coliseum Square Association as a nonprofit organization so that we could fight the proposed bridge. Governor Edward Edwards convened a public meeting of the Transportation Department at the Roosevelt Hotel. Duncan happened to have a, a half track. And so the neighborhood got in the half track and drove downtown. And as we were pulling up, the governor walked by and he looked and just started laughing and said, come on in. We were all dressed up and wearing pearls and stuff because we thought if we'd go to jail, you know, we have to look nice for the cameras. We struck a deal with the Transportation Department it would take down the intrusive ramp out of the Lower Garden District, and it would not build an access on Felicity Street. The only problem was that when Duncan left to take the children to the movies on the West Bank, he forgot the thing had been closed. And he came back and he said, what the hell have I done? We were always interested in St. Charles Avenue, which had also become disinvested over the years. There was an announcement made that some of the housing that was there was going to be bulldozed for a big box store. We got started with 11 houses that an owner was tired of dealing with. And so those houses formed the, the core of the work of Felicity Street. We restored the exteriors, the foundations, and the roofs return the interiors to their original footprint, and we left the cosmetics to the first time home buyer that we hoped came along. After Katrina, Duncan put on a National Trust badge, a tie, and he took many photographs documenting uh, the struggles after Katrina and the devastation that was citywide. The National Trust showed generosity of spirit by creating a group of volunteers that were recruited nationwide to come work in the Lower Ninth Ward where the Preservation Resource Center was doing work. We had a dinner party every Sunday night with the crowd that came in for a week to work. Duncan and I both understood that a generous spirit was one of the greatest attributes of a human being. I think we approached whatever we did in the same way. 